Hi, my name is Chet Kelly and I'm the lead engineer for the Robus Humanitas System. Today I'm here in the Mises Centre in St James's Hospital in Dublin to talk you through the installation of the Robus Humanitas Human Centric Lighting System. Human Centric Lighting is a concept that takes into consideration the effect of lighting on occupant well-being, productivity and comfort in the built environment. This area of the hospital is the Creative Life Workshop. It's concerned with mental health and well-being, so the Robus Humanitas Human Centric Lighting System is ideal for this application. Human Centric Lighting is a system that allows the user to have the right light at the right time of day to match the human circadian rhythm or the task at hand. This is how the Robus Space Humanitas panels will arrive on site. On this site we are installing eight panels. Each one comes pre-wired with a swift connector for easy installation. All products in the range are controlled by the Humanitas modem, our human centric lighting controller. You can also control all Robus Humanitas fittings using the Robus Humanitas app. To install the app on your phone, just search for Humanitas HCL in Google Play or the Apple App Store. The Humanitas space panels are wired in exactly the same way as standard Robus panels. If you have those already, it's as simple as swapping one for the other, and if you don't, you easily wire into the Swift connector with live, earth and neutral. This is the Robus Humanitas modem. It will control the Robus Humanitas space panels. As you can see, it's a simple yet sleek design with eight clearly defined buttons. It's 35 millimeters deep and back boxes are available as an accessory. The Humanitas modem needs live, earth and neutral connections. The earth connection is important for correct function of the capacitive touch buttons. The power supply can come from the same lighting circuit as the Humanitas panels but it must be on the on switch live as it needs to remain powered all the time, even if the switch is off. The Humanitas panels will already be in pairing mode when powered up, but I'll go through the process now just to show you how it's done. When going through the pairing process, if you have the Humanitas app installed, we have a light pairing guide within the settings menu that will give you the correct timings for turning the switch off and on to get the panels into pairing mode. Once the Humanitas panels are in pairing mode, you'll need to get the modem into pairing mode too. We have two ways of doing this. You can press and hold the bottom two buttons on the controller for two seconds, or you can use the Humanitas app. Once the Humanitas panels and modem pair, the lights will dim down slightly. To make sure all panels have been successfully paired, you can use the power button on the modem to turn them off and on. While in pairing mode, none of the other buttons will work on the modem to control the lights. If any of the fittings fail to pair, just repeat the pairing process until they do. Once all of the panels or fittings have paired with the Humanitas modem, we need to get the modem out of pairing mode. Similar to getting the modem into pairing mode, we can get it out of pairing mode by using two buttons, HCL and Focus, hold them for two seconds, or we can use the Humanitas app. If using the Humanitas app, just use the same menu as before, the modem will also automatically exit pairing mode after a few minutes. Now that the Humanitas modem and panels have been successfully installed, let's go through the four scene sets and three cycles that are available. The Activate scene gives a burst of blue light which will allow people in the room to become more alert. This is our highest lumen output and our highest CCT. The focus setting is designed to give a light output that increases concentration and comprehension. The Activate and Focus setting should only be used for daytime work before 5pm local time for enhanced concentration. The neutral setting gives a 50-50 mix of warm white and cool white light. This setting should be used as standard workplace lighting. The cam setting has little or no blue light. This helps people settle down into peaceful relaxation. Cycles are different to scenes on the modem in that they operate on a 24 hour constantly updated cycle. The HCL cycle initiates a 24 hour human circadian rhythm cycle that simulates the light output during the autumnal equinox. Light is constantly on but varies the blue content. The human circadian rhythm is the body's natural 24 hour cycle that needs to be reset every day. Melanopic light is a primary way of resetting your body's cycle. It puts our body into day mode and sets our body clock. The HCL plus cycle is the same as the HCL cycle but delivers a luminance boost throughout the working day when visual acuity is needed. The custom cycle gives total flexibility. Using the app you can program a 24 hour 7 day cycle into the modem for rooms that have a change of use over the course of the week. There are other products in the Humanitas range. For more information just visit robust.com. Mm -hmm.